Hey y'all, how's it going? Are you getting ready for the holidays? I'm kind of one of those people that get really excited really early, so I've got my tree up. I bought these 3D snowflakes that I've hung everywhere. It is a winter wonderland over here, so I'm getting very excited about it. But anywho, today we're gonna be learning how to create a simple product reflection in Adobe Photoshop. Really simple to do, just go ahead and open up Photoshop. Perfect, so I have this regular PNG of what I think is a shampoo bottle. And what I'm gonna do is just create a new layer down here and I'm going to fill it with a white color. And then just put that behind the product. So now what we're gonna do is take the shampoo bottle by selecting the layer and I'm gonna hit Command T on my keyboard to activate the transform tools. For PC users, that is Control T. And I'm gonna just shrink this down a bit to about here, just so we have room to play around with the reflection. Now we're going to duplicate the shampoo bottle by right-clicking the layer, hitting duplicate, and I'm gonna call this reflection layer. Cool. We're gonna select this reflection layer and we're gonna go to edit, transform, vertical, so we can give her a little flip. And then again, we're gonna transform it by hitting Command T. And I'm going to hold down Shift and drag this down to get a perfect line here. And I'm gonna put it around here. So now what we want to do is have this second layer do a bit of a gradual fade out. And there's an easy way to do this. All you have to do is select your reflection layer and we're going to click this little add layer mask box here. And with that box selected, we're gonna go over here into our tools. And I'm just gonna hold down this paint tool to just show some more options here. And we've got the gradient tool. So make sure to select that. And then we're gonna go into our gradient settings and we're gonna pick a particular gradient um, under basics and it should be the first one and it should say foreground to background. Press okay. So again, with this little box still selected, we are going to test this out. So we're gonna click near the top here. I'm gonna hold down shift to make sure I have that straight line and then end around here and see how that looks. So we've got a beautiful fade out and you can play around with this. I'm just gonna hit command Z to undo so we can start higher like that if you want a more faded out version or if you want a less faded out version, we could do something like this. So please go ahead and play around with it until you are happy with it. Now, something else you might wanna do is just adjust the opacity of this layer. I'm gonna go ahead and click this first box on the layer and then we can just adjust the opacity like this. And then something like this is okay. I'm going to select both layers, hit Command T and then just move this up. And there we have it. We've got a very cool product reflection. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to the UOP Pizzazz channel for more videos. We do lots of video editing and motion graphic tutorials. I'm trying to do more Photoshop tutorials, so please hit that subscribe button if that sounds good to you. I hope you have a fantastic day. See you later.